To address staffing and capacity concerns, some hospitals are now deferring non-emergency inpatient procedures. And that includes UT Medical Center, Park West Hospital, and occasionally Blunt Memorial. As COVID-19 cases surge in East Tennessee, all Knox County benchmarks are in red for the second week in a row. Those benchmarks measure the spread of the virus in our area. New cases, testing, contact tracing, deaths, and hospital capacity. As mentioned before, they are all now in the red in Knox County. And it comes as Knox County reports nearly 400 new active cases. You can see the line trending upward on the right side of your screen. COVID-19 hospitalizations are down slightly from yesterday, but they are still alarming, sitting at 140. The county also reports one new death, bringing the total now to 195. Tennessee reports more than 8,000 new cases of COVID-19, and that is the highest number of new cases reported in a single day since the beginning of the pandemic. And it marks the second time the state has broken the record of new cases in just three days. You can see the top five highest numbers highlighted right now in the orange. Across East Tennessee, Sevier County reporting a record 216 new cases. East Tennessee counties are also reporting a total of six new deaths. That does include the death in Knox County. Tennessee does remain in the red zone in the latest report from the White House Coronavirus Task Force. Here are three of the highlights. One, the White House warns that despite the potential of COVID-19 vaccines, the vaccines will not make an immediate impact. Two, the task force says behavioral change and aggressive mitigation policies are needed to address the winter surge in cases, and that includes wearing masks, capacity restrictions in restaurants, and limiting bar hours. And three, the task force says the state needs to increase testing of asymptomatic people to stop the spread, as well as require universities to test students weekly. As of right now, UT only plans to require on-campus students to test for the virus.